Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Let's understand the electronic configuration at the table. As we already know, the modern periodic table has periods and groups. This thing we have learned in the last class, class uh, in my class 10 we have learned all this periods and groups which modern uh, periodic table has. So this period, I can take, I can tell actually which period or which group a particular element belongs just by the electronic configuration. The power of electronic configuration is that with the electronic configuration, I can tell which period or which group belongs to. So let's study the period part. So the period indicates nothing but the value of n that is outermost shell or the valence shell. So valence shell is nothing but period. So I'm saying the period one, that means the valence shell is number one, the outermost shell. If I'm saying the period two, that means the valence shell is number two, right? So like that it is, we'll take some example for that. And this is my order of uh, the way the orbitals are filled. These are all my uh, subshells actually, right? Yeah, so this is two way subshell. So these are all subshells. 4, 3D is a subshell. Everything is subshell. This is the way my subshell is filled, filled out. And this is based on a Bahu principle. I think we have done this in the uh, previous chapter where we explain uh, how it is filled. It is the increasing order of energy. Energy increasing order. And we should do something like this 1s and 2s, 2p. 3s, 3p, 3d, right? 4s, 4p, 4d, like this. And then we should follow something like this 2s, then 2p, 3s, then 3p, 4s, like this, 3p, 4s. Then you have 3d, 4p, 3d, 4p, like this. So if you don't know this, a Bow principle. And uh, all this poly exclusion principle, please watch the previous chapter atomic structure where we explain how this is filled. So just I'll assume that you, you know this uh, uh, this uh, order and then we'll start uh, taking some examples where we'll tell you how to find a period of a particular element just by looking at the electronic configuration. So as I told you the electronic configuration can I mean for the electronic configuration I can find the period and there is nothing but shell. For example, this is period one. These all are periods two, period three, period four, period five, period six, period seven. So there are seven periods you know periodic table. So just by looking at the element I can tell for example I have this manganese I looking at the electronic configuration I can tell that this is period four. We'll take some examples for that. So which period it belong to? So to find the period which belong to, I have to find the max value of n or nothing but the outermost shell I have to find. Let's take some examples. So for hydrogen, if you see the maximum value of uh, n is 1. This is 1s, 2s, 3s like that. So maximum value is 1 is 1. For helium also 1. So these two belong to first period. First period. For lithium, if you see the maximum is 2s. For beryllium, also 2s. For uh, boron, it is 2p. So the maximum value is 2. The value of n, please note. I'm looking at the maximum value of n. For carbon, also maximum value is 2, 2p. For nitrogen, also 2p. For oxygen, also 2p. Chlorine, also 2, and neon also. So all these elements, you see, the maximum value of n is 2. So they are second period. If you take sodium. This is the outermost electron and this is the 3s. So it is a third period. For manganese also if you see, if you see the maximum is this guy. n is equal to 3, 3s. For aluminium also if you see 3p, the maximum is 3, right. For silicon also if you see 3p. Phosphorus also the outermost is a 3p. Sulfur also same thing, correct? Argon, argon also if you see the maximum is 3. 
but the more you go to potassium the maximum is in 4s now so till argon i am talking about third period correct because the maximum the outermost electron is in third shell right because i'm talking about the outermost shell so it is in third period if you talk about potassium if you see in potassium this guy is in 4s correct 4s so it is in fourth period calcium also if you see it is 4s scandium is the 3d is there but the maximum is in 4s so if you see the 4s is the maximum for all these elements correct also if, even if you go to gallium also it is 4p only it is 4 i'm talking about 4 only right so if you see for uh, g also maximum 3 arsenic also maximum 4 for sc also maximum 4 b also 4 krypton let's see krypton for krypton also maximum 4 but if you go to rubidium rb it goes to fifth orbital if you see this guy is in fifth so that means till this point kr i am from here to where i am fourth period you start from here rb you see the maximum is in fifth one all is fifth only right fifth so this is in fifth period so like that you can see the, the only thing you have to do is you can create the all right, the electronic configuration for a particular element and then see the maximum value of n in that. So if you see in this case, the maximum value of n was 5s, that is uh, fifth shell. So it is fifth period, correct? So finding period is very easy. Just write the electronic configuration and see the maximum value of n in that electronic configuration. That is nothing but the period of a particular element. Hope you understand this. See for hydrogen it was 1s1, so the maximum value of 1 n is 1, so it is first period. For example, oxygen if you see, we will take oxygen, oxygen the electronic, uh, this is atomic number is 8, so it is uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, right. So maximum value of n is what, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 2, so maximum value of n is 2, so it is 2 period, correct, let us take sodium. Sodium is 11, so it becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then 3s1. What is the maximum value of n? 3. Correct? Here n is 1, n is 2, n is 3. So maximum value of n is 3, so it is in third period. Let's take potassium. Potassium is uh, 19, the atomic number. So its electronic condition will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, right? Uh, 3s2 3p6 4s this is the electronic configuration of potassium if you don't know how to write electronic configuration please watch my previous video atomic structure so this is my electronic configuration for potassium so if you see the maximum value of uh, n is 4 so it is a 4 correct Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.